Mike, thanks for the invitation to EMO 2019. We know Jones and Shipman for many years uh, with Grindy. You've got a fantastic K100 cylindrical grinding machine with flexibility with automation. Why is it so special and why will you only see this at EMO? Okay, um, well at the moment, within Europe, Germany particularly, automation is taken on uh, a lot earlier and adopted a lot earlier. But this, the special thing about this is it's for medium and smaller batches. Whereas it's even sort of throughout Europe, it's, it's understood that you do that with large batches. This system allows a greater flexibility so people can leave the machine running with either a short batch or a number of short batches. So they can leave the machine running for four, five, six hours at a time. So that allows them to have their operators and the skills that they have doing other things. Or it allows the machine to run an extra shift when everybody else has gone home. And the sort of size components that you can actually use on this machine, what, what sort of diameters can you go to and from? Okay, on here you've got a, a wide range. It goes from sort of sub 10 millimetres by 20 millimetres long, uh, right up to sort of 400 millimetres by 100 millimetres diameter between centres and even larger if we're using chucks. So it's a truly flexible system. And when you say flexible, is it lights out grinding technology we're looking at here as well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the machine's got multiple wheels, so you can perform multiple operations on any individual component or range of components. So you select the batch of jobs that you want to go through using the tooling and the wheel selections you've got available, and then you set the, the loading system to accommodate that. Now this is very much precision grinding, so is the likes of aerospace and the type of components perfect for this type of machine? That's exactly where it's aimed at. I mean, aerospace is perfect because it's uh, precision parts, high value, uh, good complexity. It uh, also has relatively small batches compared to automotive and other things because of just-in-time manufacturing. So that's exactly the type of customer that will buy this and does buy this um, to get their extra hours and extra productivity. Now let's talk about the UK now. There's been some changes. You've got a new base in rugby. Uh, but yep. tell, tell us a little bit about the portfolio that you're actually selling in the UK now. Well, we've got the whole range of the grinding products from the Hardinge Group. We've also taken on the super precision hard turning element as well because the complexity of the jobs, the precision involved, and it's basically project work as it is with grinding products. Uh, we've also got the full range of Okamoto machines, so it's not only surface grinding, but they also have a range of cylindrical internals, vertical spindle machines, rotary grinding machines. So again, it's a very wide portfolio, covering a very wide uh, dimension of machines. So we've got a really nice mixture of products covering the really high end technological side, automation, custom solutions, down to more basic machines, but also including the high precision element and reliability. So really what you're saying from a grinding perspective in the UK, there's not much that you can't attack and actually come up with a solution for a customer? That's the idea, yeah. I mean, it, we, we believe it's a nice portfolio for the customers in the UK, offering a good range of technologies and solutions. And more and more, as I say, with the grinding and also the super precision hard turning, that's what we're selling. It's not a machine as such. It's advantages to uh, manufacturers to make more money more easily, um, you know, coping with reduced operator skills or enhancing the amount of hours they can get out of uh, the machines that they're buying and investing in. And, and many clients who are producing very high tolerances, you know, very high precision uh, end products, let's say, is grinding still growing as a, as a, as a market? Is it, is it growing within the UK? It's growing generally still. I mean, the, the market's still there. As, as things evolve, uh, higher precision tends to come into the fore. Uh, people want things to be smaller, lighter, and still work efficiently or become more efficient. So we see that the precision element is still there, and we expect to stay there for a long period of time to come. We also know that some elements and some applications, it's not the only answer, and sometimes hard turning, when it's capable of holding the super precision tolerances of a grinder, um, that's, an, that's the preferred solution in some parts. So it's really analysing the component, analysing what the requirements are, the volumes, and then coming up with the right solution out of the choice of the two. And we're in a fairly unique position to offer that choice, which and is I, great. And I think with the background of Jones and Shipman and, and all those years of technology and understanding grinding and, and actually making some of the best products, I, I, I presume you're in best place in the UK. Yeah, we do. I mean, we've got a great team. I mean, the applications guys, the service engineers, they, they all know grinding. They've been doing it for years and years and years. They know precision. So it's perfectly suited to our skill set.